All right, this problem is causing some serious um, problems on the weekly quiz here. So I'm going to try to go over it a little bit right now. Um, the cost of juice is going to cost me $5. All right, I get $1.80 back. So can't I figure out how much I paid for the juice? Sure I can, right? $1.80 has to add up with something else to get me 5 So if I do $1.80 plus whatever the cost of my juice is, we'll call it Y, it equals $5, right? So I'm going to subtract $1.80 from both sides. Okay, and by the way, $5, I can write it like that, or I could put 5.00. Okay, that's just a little help with decimals. Um, and now I'm going to borrow from the 5 here. Make that a 4 and make this a 10. 0 minus 0 is 0. 10 minus 8 is going to be 2. Bring the decimal down. 4 minus 1 is 3. I get $3.20. Now that's one step of this problem. How many cans of juice did I buy? Did I buy one can of juice like it says right there? Or did I buy more? Well, it says in the problem that I bought 8 cans of juice. So I'm going to bring up my 8 cans of juice here. So 8 cans of juice is what should cost me $3.20. So really, if, if the juice is Y, well, I'm left with 8 cans of juice times Y, the price of the juice, plus $1.80 is going to equal $5, right? That'll equal the total amount, because this is my change. This is what I paid for the 8 cans of juice, right? 8 cans of juice times whatever the price was per can. And they added up to $5. Hopefully that helps with that problem.